hi families you welcome back to my beautiful channel this is about dog sex today we are making a moringa face wash for oily acne prone skin and um, you have the recipe right on the screen so for face a xanthan gum our moringa powder glycerin and then our propylene glycol and then for face b you can see it right on the screen as well so um let's go through the ingredients in here i have my propylene glycol and then i have my glycerin in there and um those two are my humectants and i'm going to disperse the xanthan gum and the moringa powder into my humectants that is the glycerin and then the propylene glycol so that it will give me easy access of dispersing so the next ingredient is my cucamido propyl powder sorry liquid actually it was in a powdered form and then i transferred it into a liquid form whereby i took 30 percent cucamido propyl powder and then 70 percent distilled water i will leave the link down below to that video so that you can also make any batch size that you want if you have um a cucamido Protein powder and you want to transfer it into a liquid surfactant you can also do that so in here too i have my cocoa glucoside which is my co-surfactant and it will also be my sub solubilizer for this recipe in here i have tea tree oil and then here i have my distilled water with my aloe liquid and then my liquid jamal plus which is my preservative and then here i have um witch hazel which contains 14% grain alcohol and for oily acne prone skin i don't think 14% may be of any harm to your skin but if you are um sensitive skin type or if you have dry skin then you can option for something like rose water or any hydrosol that you think would suit your skin type but 14% um grain alcohol wouldn't really cause any damage to an oily acne prone skin actually Okay, so now I'm going to disperse my um, xanthan gum into my propylene glycol and then my glycerin so that that will give me easy access of um, stirring them or dispersing them. And then I'm going to add my Moringa powder to it as well. So that will be for face A. And then go ahead and add my which has our extract which contains 14 percent grain alcohol and then give it a good stir and then add my cucamido propyl between liquid surfactant And then i'm gonna give it a good stir a quick one as well so for your cocoa glucoside you can um, pour it into your recipe your face a or you can um pour the tea tree oil into your cocoa glucoside as um to stabilize it first before you add it to it And um, cocoa glucoside, I think, can stabilize oils around 3% or 4% if I'm right. But this is just 2% um, tea tree oil, so we are good to go. So I'm going to give it a good stir and then add it to my face A. So 
so i'm gonna give this a good stir as well and um cocoa glucoside do have a very high ph i think around eight or nine and i did show that um no no that was for cocamido propelbutin both of them do have um quite high ph so um working with them in your face wash or any face products you need to check the ph whether you need to balance them or adjust it yeah so this is around 10 and that is very very high so we need to um add a little bit of um citric acid 50 percent um citric acid solution and then i added few drops i think around like um um five five to six drops or so and then i got the ph to four three four point three and that is perfect that's fine oh, okay so i think it's 4.4 and that is okay to go with so your face wash is ready your moringa face wash for oily acne prone skin is ready i'm gonna add a little bit of a fruit green um liquid pigment to it just to give it that moringa green kind of color to it just a little drop and then we are done our face wash is ready so i'm going to transfer it into my 100 gram bottle size and that is it okay so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more updates on products um formulation god bless you all and bye bye